What's up guys and welcome to the Drift Games YouTube channel. Big day today because we are here at IDS Irish Drift Series round one. It's been six years since I've competed in Ireland. Joshua's first day behind the wheel. Massive pandemonium this morning getting everything ready. As you can see, the car is ready, we're ready, we're a little bit nervous, stresses are high. We're hoping we get some good practice runs in and then things will calm down a little bit, we'll be able to talk a little bit more. But right now, my window's fogged up, I gotta get that cleared, I gotta get out to practice. I'm 10 minutes into practice now, we haven't even hit the track, so the panic is real. Let's get to the track and try and put in some good laps. All right, first practice session, here we go. This is the first time with hands, first time racing with gloves. Oh my God, you can... the hands device is weird. I'm not sure how this is going to be. I'm a dope for not testing beforehand. All right, guys, here we are. The day has come. We're on the start line. Practice. We're not going to get a whole lot of practice today. A lot of cars on the grid. 80 drivers, only 32 qualify. And I am so nervous right now. I'm on the line. I was late to practice because I was setting up GoPros. My mouth's dry. And yeah, very, very f nervous indeed. To bear the nerves off, I've got to run. That's kind of all I wanted. I didn't even know it was the hands device. So let's see how this goes. in the chase position. Uh, Charlie not on the perfect line, I wasn't on the perfect line, but when you get to competition, the first lap is always an absolute mess. So we've got a lap under our belt. Let's see if we can uh, improve on that. We're gonna try and do a lead run, maybe set ourselves up for qualifying. Um, and yeah, car's working good, feels good, lots of grip. I thought I'd have to go up to fourth, but I'm staying in third. We're only running 10 PSI in the tires. So we are wondering will they still stay on the rims, but it looks like they will, so sweet. So I've gone into the chase line now. So we're gonna try and see how we pace up against other cars. Update on the dry mouth, still got it. But it's only, we only get an hour of practice, I think, or an hour and a half. So um, I'm staying out as long as possible. It was good he overtained on the first corner. Oh my god, the car's got a bit of pace, I can catch him. It's that long bit that I'm having trouble on. It's, um, I'm having trouble spinning the tires on there, but I mean, that was my first chase run with someone, so I mean, it was all right. Okay, so I'm going into the lead position now to try and put down essentially what might be a qualifying run. I haven't actually checked the gearing on the car. I was staying in third there because 
um, we were chasing, so we were on a bad line. So I'm not sure if we'll do the whole course in third, but we'll see what happens on this one. We're gonna try it in third. We might need fourth, let's see what happens. It's pretty nervous here. Not feeling comfortable with the track. I haven't done a lap yet, so you get that kind of jitters. Once you get one good lap under your belt, you feel a little bit more confident, but uh, right now, yeah, not sure. last corner but we know for the next time the rest was okay went a little bit too hot in actually if you can see in the replay I actually did, got confused again between the gear selector and the handbrake so uh, I ended up um, going for neither and not slowing down enough so that's my own fault but that's something we can easily fix so I'm happy with that so our first lap is done on the lead position I think we can tidy up from there wasn't a great line lost a bit of speed through the big corner so I'm gonna try one more in third gear and see if we need fourth so let's see where we go I wonder how Josh is getting on. Is he up at the start line yet? practice run number three this time got to clean it up I'm only probably gonna get one more lap here didn't seem like I had enough speed to get to the corner so I need to initiate a little bit later um, to make that work the last bit was okay I just need to break a little bit more into the big corner but again dropping wheels but trying to get to that outside line is pretty tricky so we'll see how it goes hopefully get one more lap but at least in my mind I kind of know what mistakes I'm making and every lap you learn a little bit more so I'm gonna go for one more lead if I can I'd normally go into the chase position at this point, but I'm not comfortable. I haven't done a very good qualifying run yet, so I want to just make sure I get one of those in the bag. So let's see how it goes. Bit more confident now. Temperature is 91, that's good. That'll be settling down to about 85. Look at me, I no car stuff, kind of. Clutch seems fine. Seems to be bedded in, as rough as it may be to bed it in this way. <sighs> okay, nerves are kind of going a little bit. Maybe one more run, but if I don't, I'm still happy. Seems like a bit of a problem, so it kind of 
it's like a, it's like a misfire, I don't even know what you would call it, but anyways, the power sort of fluttered down um, after the second corner, I think it was, and like it kind of came back at the end. I'm not too sure if that was because I was turning right and the fuel sloshed. Either way, not good for confidence going into qualifying. So um, when I said, I wonder if uh, Wayne put any fuel in, Wayne, why have you got the fuel? To, why have you got the fuel can? Because you told me the car was full. That was his first mistake, was trusting what I said. So it seems that the um, the problem with the car where it was fluttering down was that it was no fuel in the car. Hopefully. How was yours? Not good. Not good. Actually, a pretty sketchy practice. Um, I, I was I was coming into the round a little bit more confident than I should have been, maybe. First corner, struggling, and then when it comes down to that, I keep dropping wheels now. Someone spun in front of me, I went to the sequential instead of the handbrake again, and a few other messy bits. I think I just need to, I don't think it's actually practice now, it's mindset of what I need to figure out myself by watching the other practice session, what people are doing that's working, and then just going to qualify and hope what happens. I'm not saying I can't do the track, that's not the issue, I'm probably just being a bit messy, so I need to tidy up my line, so. It's how competition goes, some days you wake up and you're on it from the first lap, Sometimes you're not. Today I'm not, so I need to work back from there. I'm nervous now, actually. I didn't think I would be this nervous, but it's been a long time since I've done competition, almost over, well, nearly a year. So yeah, nerves are getting to me a little bit. So I'm just gonna have to settle down and try and drive as I should be driving. So when we signed up for the championship, it was two classes and with a semi-pro and a pro. Now it's one class, and then last minute, James Dean decided to enter. So, talk about your first event with one of the best drivers in the world, debatably the best driver in the world. And we're just about to go to qualifying. It puts the pressure on, but I'm surprisingly feeling okay about myself. I'm saying no, I'm still nervous, so we'll see. All right, so we're just about to go to qualifying first round of the Irish Drift Series practice. I'm not too happy, I actually drove pretty bad, so. This is the scary bit, you go into qualifying, you're Double starting... Line is put you off. Yeah, so, some amateur guys here doing some drifting as well. Best of luck to them. Um, so for me, it's just about getting out of my own head, doing the lap I know I can't, don't push too hard, just trying to get a score on the board for the first qualifying run. I am nervous, but the nerves are part of the fun of it. Like, getting over the nerves is a big part of what I think is better about competition drifting sometimes than practice drifting, is that you push yourself mentally to the limit. So I'm gonna go try and calm myself down, Hopefully get a score on the first run that's not too bad and Cam, the same with Josh, get our runs on the board so at least we know what we have to work with for the second. On the first out in qualifying, that's a bit nervy as well. But car is running great, just going to throw the thing in and hope for the best and that's all you can do in drifting, you can't overthink it. So yeah, we've been waiting for this for what, 12 months? Here we go. We want to take a minute just to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, M-Tech Brakes. They're one of the UK's leading supplier of performance brake pads, discs and hoses. We have run them on all of our cars, they're an amazing product and at an amazing price. So make sure you check out their full range at mtechbrakes.com. Here we go, first qualifying run. Let's do this. I think I DB'd a tire. Disaster. Don't think. Just delaminated. Ah, what a disaster. too bad, I could be saying all this now, it's zero or something like that, but 
I don't know, my foot slipped off the clutch like three times. First time I wear race boots. And it's the first mistake I've made like that. So um, I don't know if that could have just been a bit panicked. So uh, yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll watch back on the live stream, if I put that clip in here and see how it actually was and what we need to do for the second run. For Josh Holsworth, yeah. it's top down, MX5 time, here we go. Lots of problems with this car, with the flywheel yesterday, they had the car down in current motorsport. They seem to have got it all where it needs to be, but yeah, what can Josh nice Holsworth do? Josh so far. Yeah, he has driven this layout numerous times, but it's totally different in competition and looks to be hooking it up quite nicely early oh. on, Connor. Yeah, and his cough for a small bit of power there coming out of that gun, but he makes it work. A very nice run here from Josh so far. And a driver what I was really excited to see about this weekend, and I'm you know I'm looking forward to seeing him. You know, that's a very good run there from Josh for his first run. So I've just been told that um, I got a 78, which is I mean, I'm sure that can't be too bad. I'm not sure where that is or anything like that. Obviously I'm 15th in qualifying, so I mean I will have been top 15 at some point, I think. So um yeah. Happy days with that. Hopefully the next one we can um, take a bit of the stress off and hopefully we can try and do something a bit more mad and get a better score on the board, but I'm um, delighted. This is my second qualifying run of a zero on my first. Very f***ing nervous right now. Stressing. So I've got to try and get that out of my head. Can't go soft. Can't do a half run because the scores are too high. So i got to go for it. So it's going to be all or nothing on this one. Hopefully not nothing. find out much and better through that first injury, section yeah. no problems for David Egan now he is familiar with the layout he is familiar with the track he's comfortable in this car and just slows it down nicely this look oh, oh a bit of a just flirts with the rough does Dave yeah, as I think it's not a major um, you know just a little bit I think he got away if he went in any deeper there he was stuck and yeah and I think if you look at the line through the rest of the run I think there's enough there yeah. Woo! a little bit of a dirt drop bud We'll take that. Oh! I don't know if it's good enough, I don't know. I dirt dropped a little bit, but I was on the edge of the track, I was on the right line, so... I don't know. But man, the relief is ridiculous. I don't care. You've never competed in drifting. The emotional f***ing toll it takes is the only reason I do it, because it pushes you to the limits, and... Oh, man. That was f***ing hard going. Woo! Let's hope Josh gets on okay. That's all we can do, boys. That's all we can do. It is Josh Holdsworth in the Link ECU tire box, Sunoco tire or Sunoco race field, Wayne Curran Motorsport, Mazda MX5, SR20 underneath the bottom. Or... <laughs> Josh is absolutely sending it. Correction, um, it is not an SR20 underneath the bottom. <laughs> it is the standard 1.6 engine with a turbo on it. And, uh, oh, he's made a correction on the last quarter. I know think what? what's it's important. Exciting. Yeah, what's important there is he's having. He's definitely smiling through the whole lot of that run, you know, which is great. <laughs> I don't know, I, did, I kind of messed up the initiation and from then I kind of just once upon a bit of a show, but I got carried away. I forgot what I was doing, I wanted to run on the board, but I didn't. The cutoff is still 65. I was fucking going big angle to big angle. And I kind of forgot I was in a qualifying run, I was like, this is class. Okay, so it seemed that 
Dave is definitely in the show. He was like 50 towards the towards the end of qualifying, so he's safe. Me, on the other hand, I was 29th about 15 runs ago, so I have no idea if I've um, if I've qualified yet. And as you just saw just then on the phone, they're um, released on social media, so I guess it's going to be a horrible way to see if I'm qualified, which is touch a go. And either way, like it's a very hard battle if I have qualified because I've qualified low. But like I said, if I qualify, I'd be more some good news in this whole situation is I qualified, which was 32nd. It's a bit of bad news though, because the person that qualified first... How about you? So yeah, top so, yeah. 30. Anyway, let's hope we make it and we can have a good <laughs> laugh. Josh right, 13, even on a technicality here, we'll never hear the end of it. So we have to get this alternator in the RX-7 fast. Two Mazdas, two cool cars, one world champion and one doofus, myself. Right, here he goes, I guess. This is the f***ing big one. 